guys and welcome back to my channel. Today's video, I just decided to do it last night so we'll see how it goes, but my plan is to show you what we eat in a week for dinners. So this is going to be a week of dinners and how I meal plan. It is Monday. I tend to do my meal plans after I've been to the community larder, so I will be going there very shortly. When I get back, I will show you how I meal plan from there and do my food shop. Then I'm going to be showing everything we eat for dinners in this week. So I just got back from the larder. I'm going to look through my cupboards and make a meal plan for this week. So on my wall, I have an A3 piece of paper where I write what I'm going to be cooking for each day of the week and a shopping list. So here you can see me writing down the days of the week and getting my shopping list ready. After I've done that, I tend to look in my fridge, my pantry and my cupboards to see what I've got and what I can use this week. This is the state of the fridge before we go shopping. We've got these that I picked up from the larder. So I need to think of something I can make with them. We've got loads of eggs. So I've got stuff I can make there. But the fridge is pretty empty. Veg wise, we've got spinach, lettuce, broccoli, that'll be eaten today. That's what's in the fridge. What have we got in here? Bread, lettuce. Okay, we've got a few bits in there then. What's in here? We've got pastas. We've got loads of potatoes. We're going to use some of them today. Oh, look what I got. In the larder, they're little like Halloween pastas, which are cute. Potatoes, got some onions, got loads of flour. And then over here, the house little tip. Got loads of rice, loads of coconut milk. Um, and we've got loads of bits up there. And then outside freezer, freezer, we've got a few bits too. After looking through all my cupboards and my fridge and freezers, I see the things I have in and see what meals I can make while adding the least amount of ingredients. So on Monday I saw that I have burgers in the outside freezer and I got burger buns from the larder. I had some potatoes that needed using and I thought I could make some wedges out of them as well as like veg. So Monday was going to be burgers then Tuesday I had a bag of frozen fajita mix, peppers, onions, mushrooms all chopped up in the freezer that was an easy one that I could make. I have flour to make wraps and uh, some, some vegetables to have on the side as well. I write down anything that I need in the shopping list. So for these dinners, I haven't yet had to add anything. Also on my phone, I have a list of all of the meals I can easily make just to remind myself and keep me inspired. So I tend to look at that as well for a bit more inspiration to remind me of the dinners that I can make. Then I planned to have Wednesday as a uh, jacket potato day. However, you will see later on in the video that that did change. And my, I write these lists, but I don't necessarily plan to stick to having these meals on the exact same day that I've put them down as. I've put the days so I know that I have seven meals. However, I won't stick to these specific meals if that makes sense. I will switch the days out. I noticed that I needed some more mayo to be able to make egg mayo, so I added that to my list. And that's kind of how I do things. I see what I need to add to that individual meal to make it a complete meal and just add it to the list. And then of course I add in the things that I need for breakfasts and lunches onto my list as well. These are just to say these are the seven meals I'm making in a week, not necessarily that I'm making them in this order. This is hanging up on my wall so I can, throughout the week, chop and change it, cross things out, add things on. If something gets eaten for lunch instead of dinner, I can change it out. And then I tend to have some foods that I have every single week. So Sunday tends to be our pizza day. And hence why I need to add cheese to the list because we're gonna need cheese for our pizzas. I'm hoping I've done a good job at explaining this. If you have any questions, let me know. Joel and the kids can look at the board and see what we're kind of having this week. And if they say, hey mom, I'm not feeling this dinner tonight, I can switch it up to another one and it's not going to affect the meal plan. Things generally won't go out of date from changing it up. So, and I also tend to use the things that are going to go out of date first. So even if I put like burgers on Monday, I could have made them on Sunday because I saw that the vegetables for fajitas, let's say, were going to go rancid. So I thought I'd cook them quicker. I'm hoping that makes sense. <laughs> I got some burger buns from the larder. So I thought today for dinner, 
I think I have some burgers out in the freezer in the outs in the garden, in the shed. So I'll see if I've got the burgers in the shed. I know that we've got lettuce and burger cheese. Then we have potatoes. And I've got some broccoli from the larder as well. So today it's gonna be burgers, kind of chips and broccoli. This is what we've got for today's dinner. I did have some, uh, some burgers. We've got some cheese slices, some potatoes that really need to get used that I'm gonna make wedges out of. Burger that I got in the larder today. Some broccoli and some lettuce that's look better. We need to get that used, so we'll have that as well. And I'll show you what it looks like when it's done. Potatoes are too far gone, like they're smushy. I did get these in the larder last week, I think, maybe the week before, I could be wrong. But they're not usable, unfortunately. I might be able to find like one or two, but it's not worth the amount I'll get out of it for the work I'll put into cooking them. So unfortunately, these are gonna have to go be put in the food caddy to go into the compost. I do have a few little bits of chips here in the freezer that I'll cook up, and I'm just gonna add more veggies and cook up some sweet corn instead, so. Yeah, not ideal, but we will make do. Dinner once, Monday night, is sweet corn, broccoli, burgers for me. I probably will have another burger. Um, the kiddos have some chips with theirs as well. Uh, there was only enough for the boys, so the Joel will have the same as me, but this is Monday night's dinner. Tonight is Tuesday, and Joel is pretty much cooking dinner tonight, but I thought I'd quickly show you what we're having. We've got out from the freezer a big bag of pre chopped veggies, onions, mushrooms, and peppers. And Joel has just been spending all day making uh, seitan. If you don't know what seitan is, it's like... How do you explain seitan? It's like wheat protein. Oh, okay. They call it wheat meat. Wheat meat? <laughs> yeah. Um, and so this is what it looks like and he's cooking loads more up now. So we're going to have that and I'm quickly going to make the dough for the wraps. And we're going to have fajitas. If you'd like to know my fajita and wrap recipe, I'll link it in the video up above. So I forgot to show you what we were having for dinner and I have already eaten mine, but we have got stuff left over so I can show you what we had. Got homemade wraps. Joel made these seitan uh, like type like chicken strips. So we didn't end up using the like toasted chicken that's in the fridge. So we'll probably use that tomorrow. Lettuce, cheese, we had leftover sweet corn from yesterday's dinner. And then this was in the outside freezer that I showed you. This is the roasted onions, mushrooms and peppers in a fajita. I make my own like fajita spices and that's just roasted in the oven. So I didn't show you how it looked, but that's it broken down. I'm just making your toast first, okay? Right, so it is Thursday the... Well, it's Thursday. It's Thursday. And I realized after the fact that I did not show you yesterday's meal, because it ends up being a stressful busy day and little ones may have had meltdowns and I'm not going to be showing that. <laughs> I'm not showing you when my children have meltdowns. So I wasn't able to film what we had for dinner yesterday. However, I do have leftovers that I can probably show you. Yeah, so yesterday for dinner, in the end, we were meant to have jacket potatoes. That was on the meal plan. You saw from our meal on Monday, that the potatoes we had went moldy. We got them from the larder. By the time we went to use them, they were all soft and squishy, so we couldn't use them. So what I did instead was when I did a food shop, I bought a pack of nachos uh, from Aldi, very cheap pack. They were like 50, uh, 45p, I think, around the area, 40 to 50p. And I knew I had black beans, and I bought some salsa and some garlic and, her like garlic and chive dip. And... I decided with that and some cheese I was going to make nachos. So what I did was I cooked up some refried beans. All that was was <laughs> all that was was two cans of black beans which I already had and it cooked for a, in water for like I think like an hour maybe to make the mushy and I added a very small chopped onion and some herbs beforehand to cook off first. Added the black beans, the water and a bit of stock. And then you just mush that. So what we did was I spread out the nachos, topped it with the black beans and cheese, baked it in the oven, then topped that with salsa and <laughs> the garlic and chive dip. And then I also cooked up some baby corn and some rice. So it was a bit of a random dinner, 
it wasn't necessarily the most balanced with veggies, but they had loads of fruit for their lunch, so it did balance out for the day. And what you have to remember is when you're seeing these videos of what I cooked, or recipes, they, you might get some dinners that aren't nutritionally balanced, but obviously try not to look at it per meal, look at it as a whole of your day, so, or of your week. There are some days then you're not gonna meet all of your, all of the protein, fats, carbohydrates, uh, vitamins, you're not necessarily gonna reach all of them each day. But if you look at it over a week, then there's a good chance that you will. So yesterday we had nachos right there, I'll show you. It won't look good now because it's the next day. <laughs> And if you don't know, nachos don't last very well. <laughs> it looked better than this when I cooked it. So we had nachos and that was just one packet of crisps and because black beans are so filling, that was the part that filled us up and we also had some rice to fill us up too. Wednesdays are our crazy day. Wednesdays we are out of the house all day at meetups and clubs. Always a bit rushed and I kind of didn't think of that when I decided to film this video. So I have these bagels from the larder and I'm hoping they haven't gone mouldy yet. I took these tonight because these need to get used. I don't want them to go to waste because food waste is one of my biggest pet peeves. I hate it. But I will show you hopefully if I remember what I make for dinner tonight. Got some chips, loads of sausages, we'll have loads left over for tomorrow. Broccoli and baby corn. There is some egg mayo just in case we might not eat that but it's an option and you can kind of tell that we like our condiments <laughs> yeah we might not use all of them but we prefer the option and then a pack of bagels and spreads I don't know why I just put chocolate in my mouth when I'm filming okay we are on Friday Friday night making dinner I've remembered to film so that's a good start so I'm gonna be making a lentil bolognese, bolognese, bolognese for dinner. Um, <laughs> that's staying in. I, I normally use pui, poi, pui, pui, poi, pui, pui lentils, uh, but I don't have any, and I've got loads of red lentils, so I'm going to try and make it with these. So we're going to make a bolognese full of these ingredients. Some Halloween pasta that I got from the larder. And oh, stock cubes, I need to get them. I'll show you if I remember when it's done. Very boring dinner. We've got pasta, bolognese, cheese, and that's my sauce. That's Friday night's dinner. Hey guys, it is Sunday, so the last day of the week. And on Sundays, we tend to make pizzas. These are the ingredients I'm going to use for pizzas. We've got plain flour, soy milk, unsweetened, salt. Uh, some yeast, olive oil, and then I'll make my own tomato sauce with uh, what's that stuff called? tomato puree. If you'd like the pizza dough recipe that I use, I will link down below. It's just the general BBC one, but I'll link that there. So we're going to make pizzas. So there are all the things I need for the dough. And then I will make my own pizza sauce and top it with what cheese and some veggies that we'll probably put on top. We ended up just sticking to cheese pizzas today. I don't know why, <laughs> honestly. The boys wanted cheese pizzas, Joel wanted cheese pizzas, and I just couldn't be bothered to chop up vegetables for my pizza alone. So, four pizzas, and I've got some leftover sugar snap peas in the fridge, so I might cook up them for something green. Hey guys, it's late at night. This is the only time I've been able to film this part of the video, um, but, that is everything we ate in a week. You can see from the video that we did not, that I did not need to make dinner on Saturday night. We had 
loads of leftover bolognese so we also ate that again i only ended up needing to make six different dinners this week because of leftovers but that's everything we ate in a week this video was probably really random let me know if you liked it or if you'd like me to show you how i make things next time i do this if i do it again if you like it let me know what you want to see this was just a really last minute kind of attempt at trying something different i don't know if it worked out but that was everything for today i hope you enjoyed this video if you did please do the whole liking and subscribing and sharing and all that jazz and i will see you in my next video friends bye